Hey folks, this is Vince and Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play The Networks. This is a game for 1 to 5 players, it's for ages 13 and up, and the average play time is 60 to 90 minutes. So this is our first time playing. It's been on my wall for a while, but um, I've never gotten around to it until today. So there may be a rules goof or two. This is a game where you're building your very own television network. Each player will be fielding shows between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. There's room for three shows. One for 8 p.m., one for 9 p.m., and one for 10 p.m. And we're going to be sort of we're going to be doing a little bit of engine building, but I, I want to use that term loosely because it's not a typical engine builder where you just keep building up and building up and building up and building up and building up. Here, you're going to be cycling out shows. You start off with some really crappy shows. You're going to be getting more shows here from the Tableau to put into these time slots, and you're going to be earning victory points on them. But the number of victory points that you get from them depend on what season they're on. So if we take a look at this run real quick, this is a show. It prefers a 10 p.m. time slot, which simply means that if you put it in a 10 p.m. time slot, you'll get 10 uh, viewers or 10 victory points whenever this thing scores. Otherwise, if you have it in a different time slot, it will score 7. But you'll be earning victory points depending on what season it's on or round. So if this card is, you just got this card this round, you'll get 10 points this round. If you carry the show over to the next round and it, it ends, um, if you still have this card at the end of next round, you get 10. But then, Toward the third and fourth round, if you still have this show, you're only going to get one victory point for it. So you're going to be getting these shows into these time slots, but they may not be as lucrative in terms of victory points as the game goes on. So you're going to be cycling out these shows with other ones as they come up. There's a season two and three deck here and a season four and five deck here. These are the season one cards. Um, there are a total of five rounds in the game. This is the turn order track here. This is the end of round, they call it the drop in budget area of the board. Whenever we're ready to pass and stop making actions for that round, we would resolve things there and I'll explain that in a little bit. You've got network cards here, add cards, star cards. You've got your cash tokens here. Beginning player starts with five and and the uh, other player starts with eight. In a two-player game, there are some special rules, but I'll go over them at the end of this sort of overview. So on a player's turn, what they're going to do is they're either going to grab a show, which are these six here. They're either going to do that, or they're going to grab an ad, which are these four cards here. They're going to grab a star for uh, one of these cards here. They're going to take a network card, perhaps. Uh, there's no network cards for the first season, at least according to the rulebook, in the basic game. Uh, it does say here how many you get. It says four, but in the rulebook, if you're playing the basic games, it tells you not to draw any. So because this is our first time, we're not going to do anything. But the network cards, just to sum them up, they're free to take and they provide you either with an immediate action or give you a one-time action that you could perform um, at a later date. And, and there's even some end-of-game effects, too, that give you some victory points. The shows that you can grab, uh, you pay for them twice. Um, on the upper left-hand corner, there, this is the cost to actually take the show. As soon as you grab a show, you have to put it into one of your time slots immediately. You cannot hold on to it. And then this is the cost of the show at the end of the year. Whenever you're, when you're done, you pass, and then you tally up your income and expenses. This is how much it's going to cost you to have that show in your in your little network there. So you want to have some, possibly some advertising cards to offset that. The little symbol, the green symbol on the bottom, that means that you have to attach an ad card to this in order to play it. Um, let's get to the ad cards now. These are ad cards. As soon as you take them, they provide you with a one-time bonus over here. At the end of the year, this is the maintenance. You get, you get positive money for this. So you'll be using ad cards to offset the cost of your shows, possibly. But yeah, whenever you play a show that requires an ad, you're going to take an ad from your tableau. It's the uh, green room, as it's called. You're going to take a card and slide it underneath the, sh the show that you just took. Okay? So those are the ads there. The stars work very similar to that. Um, there's a one-time cost with them. Let's just grab... Well, if I can grab one, that would be awesome. I can't. I don't have any nails. You're going to have to... Thank, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so it's a one-time cost to grab this star, and then a one-time, or this is a, a continuous cost 
at the end of the year. That's how much it's going to cost you. So basically, you're going to lose money from shows and from stars, but you're going to gain money from ads. And these numbers on the right-hand side also work with the show's uh, victory point slot. So in the first, let's say the round were to end that I have something like this, and let's say I have it in a 10 p.m. time slot. I would get 10 victory points or 10 viewers plus the four from this star. So I'd gain 14 viewers for this combination that I have. It's going to cost me $2 million at the end of the year. I'm going to have to pay it, um, but so it goes. Now, just in case you're wondering, I could not attach a star to this because there's no room for it. I have to attach, an ad would go here instead. But I'm just saying, if this card could support an actor, that would be the, that would be the victory point total that you would see at the end of the round there. Okay. So, on your turn, like I said, you're either going to grab a show, you're going to grab an ad, you're going to grab a star, or you're going to grab a network card if they're available. Um, or you're going to, if you want to, you can attach a star or an ad to an existing card on your network. Now, some of these have optional, some of these have optional symbols. The, the green solid one means it's mandatory. The purple um, filled in symbol means it's mandatory, meaning that whenever you take a show from here, you have to have the card to go along with this and play it right then and there. If you don't, you cannot get this card. But there are some shows to where ads and stars are optional. So you can put this card into your tableau now, for example, and then later on a future turn decide, you know what, I want to attach an ad to that. Or maybe I want to attach a star to that. So you can use an action to take some either a star or an ad and, and attach it, assuming it can support it. Is that an and or an or? That's an or. Okay. The star slash... So you can't put both? No, not both, just the one. Mm -hmm. okay. Whenever you replace a show, you're going to take the existing one, flip it like so, so that it's this side up, and you're going to put this into your rerun section. This will still earn you victory points or viewers at the end of this round, at the end of the season, whatever. So um, I'll get one point for this plus whatever points I get for this over here. Um, in addition to that, you'll get genre bonuses. Uh, genre bonuses meaning that each of these shows, one might be an action flick or one might be a sitcom or one might be science fiction, whatever. If you happen to have three of the same genre in your network. It could be active, it could, they could be reruns, they could be in your archive, meaning they, they, were, they were pushed there from an earlier round. Um, it doesn't matter where they are, so as long as you have three of the same genre, you get a bonus. That bonus being you can either grab, um, I think it's three of these ad cards, just, just draw them, and then you choose one to keep for free, and the other two, you take a look at their immediate bonus, add them up, and that's what you get in cash. And then you put those cards in the bottom of the deck. So you're going to get one free ad card, and the other two that you don't take, you, get a, you add up their, their sum, their bonus, and you take that cash from the bank. The stars, you just grab, I think, three and take one for free or something like that. I'm going to have to look them up. Yeah, draw three and keep one. Mm -hmm. And you also um, get a bonus if you get five of the same genre in your, in your tableau, in your, in your network. You get the same bonus options there, plus the ability to draw, I think it was a network card? Three network yeah, cards. draw three network cards, take one. Uh, then you can also, as a one-time effect, you can decide to spend money to earn victory points. It's a one-time thing. You can only do it right then and there. But if you have extra cash, and you need some victory points, you can turn them in at a rate of four cash for three victory points. And I think that is the general overview. I, don't, I'm, I may have missed one or two things. Um, at, in a two-player game, rules are slightly different. In a two-player game, um, this, is the, this is the turn marker. As, as we take turns, we're going to be moving these markers around this wheel. Whenever our markers pass this little pink space, or this little pink notch, on that wheel, we're going to draw a network card, and on the bottom of this network card is going to be symbols for the shows, for the ads, for the stars, whatever, and we have to burn them, meaning get, just remove them from the tableau. In a two-player game, we have a lot of choices, but as we continue going around this, this circle here, this wheel, we're going to be removing cards, so um, that'll sort of simulate the fact that there are other people playing and taking cards as well. Um, so throughout this, throughout our round, throughout our play, you'll see us burning these cards. They have to go from left to right. So we've decided 
left to right, left to right, top, left to right, like a book. So as we burn cards, they're going to start here and work their way that way, and then left to right and left to right. Um, also, when you're done uh, and, and you don't want to take an action on your turn, you're going to pass, and that's the drop in budget action. You're going to take your turn order marker and you're going to put it on the next available space. One of these network cards, uh, or not one of them, but some of them have a uh, drop in budget burn action, which means that you take one of the three cubes that are available here and you're going to put them into the leftmost available slot. It starts at 9 million, so if I were to, if I were the first one to pass for a round, I would normally get 9 million, and idly, if she were the second one to pass, she would get 8 million from the bank. But, as these drop in budget burn cards come up, we're going to be placing these cubes in there instead. So let's say a, a drop in budget comes up, I put a cube there, we continue playing, we burn another one, oh, drop in budget again, we're going to put another cube there. Let's say, okay, I decide to pass. So I'm going to go ahead and put my marker here, and I get $7 million from the bank. Ida Lee keeps playing, she draws another card, happens to be dropping budget as well, that goes there, and then she has one spot remaining, no more cubes. If a dropping budget were to come up at this point, we'd ignore it. Uh, and then when she's ready to pass, she'll put her marker there and she'll get $5 uh, million from the bank, or five money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that's how that works. The, the, burn, the burn mechanics are unique for a two-player game. So they require a little bit extra work on our end. Okay, but I think, I think that's it. These are, in case we get more than, there's 100, 100 points on this tracker here. And whenever we exceed 100, we're going to be, you know, just flipping these over to remind us that, hey, we have 100 or 200, whatever. Cool. Okay, um, I'm first player, so I guess I'll start. I get to take an action. Um, what am I going to want? I kind of like... There's, you start with three crappy shows, none of them give you victory points at all, there's no viewers here. Um, I've got uh, Cooking for Your Gerbil, Name That Stain, and Litter Training Weekly. Um, so obviously no viewers on that, so uh, we want to replace those as quickly as possible. Um, I could do, let's see, this is 8pm, 8pm, 9pm, 10pm, 9pm, 10pm. Um, hmm. Well, if I get this one, it's one million. Okay, that's 11 victory points. That's kind of nice. What time slot is that one? This one is 10 p.m. over here. I see. And this is 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna buy this one for one million. So I'm going to put one million into the bank. And the requirement of this show is I have to attach an ad to it. So I'm going to take my existing ad. We, we each start with three shows. We start with a star and an ad, and it's predetermined uh, based on our color. There's a, there's a deck for each player color in the game. It's like six cards, five cards, something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to here, and I'm gonna put this into my 9 p.m. slot, like so. And I'm gonna put this cube on the 11 there, and this name that stain is no longer mm -hmm. on, it's a rerun now, I'm gonna flip it over. At the end of this round, I'm gonna get one, one viewer, one victory point for that. And this goes, yeah, this stays here. This extra cube is for, there's a score track here that's kind of hard to see. Um, so now it is, so basically this goes here now. Now, the way the rule book has this worked, you're supposed to flip these tokens every single time. Now it's pink on top representing her turn. We're supposed to keep flopping that <laughs> every single, I'm like, really? Why? I don't understand that. So I'm just going to just move the tokens, I think. Um, That's fine. That way we know who the starting player was. Right. That, that was my thought. I, so I don't understand why that was necessary. Because whenever one of us passes, we're going to go over there. Any, so I, don't, I really don't understand why we're flipping the tokens like that. But okay, so now you get to go. Okay. Um, oh, man. I completely forgot about these. <laughs> yeah, so you get free ones there. Those are just free ones to use. Okay. So you, oh, you're turning your network to this? Okay. Yeah, I'll, so I'll, the camera can see all it. Right, can do, they see it? Yeah, they, they should be able to. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that as well. Just just to be consistent, OCD-wise. <laughs> OCD. Um, I'm sorry. The downside is that I don't have any room in my green room here. Okay. Put it put it like a little higher. Well, no one's going to see it up there. So I'll just do something like... 
So reruns go there, that goes there. All right, and hopefully you guys can see, yeah, you guys can see that. Okay. Oh man, this stinks. Okay, I'm gonna grab, While she's thinking, Sorry. no, 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 it's okay. While she's thinking, I'll show you guys some of the, the box components here. Uh, there's extra cash that we have in case we need it, some more cubes. These are the player uh, decks here. These are extra boards. There's boards for three players, one player. There's like one player there. Um, three, five players here. You're gonna put out the correct boards depending on how many people are playing the game. Um, these are player boards here for each player. There's the green and purple, orange, and so on. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna grab that one. You're gonna grab a show here. The old old folks complaining, and that's an 8 p.m. time slot. You're gonna take out what's that show there you're replacing? Unlocking your cat's psychic potential. Unlocking your cat's psychic potential. How could you possibly remove that show? That's the best. I, you, this goes. It, that goes in your reruns. Yep. So you're gonna flip that upside down. Yep. And, yep, and put that in your rerun. Yep, there you go. Okay. That's going to count as one victory point at the end of this round. And then it'll move down to your archives mm -hmm. after that. Okay. Um, now, that show that you put in your network, it, it was it had a gray thing on the bottom. Yeah. So it's as an optional thing, you can slide something in there with it. If you want to, you don't have to. By itself, it's going to get you how many victory points for this round? Eight. Eight. Okay, and it doesn't cost anything. There's no maintenance fee on the upper right of the card. So if you don't do anything with it right now, it's just going to score you victory points, and that's it. Did you pay the two bucks to, to take I it? Did. Okay, cool. Um, All right, I'm going to put that. Here's the thing. See, I would waste an action if I don't play something. That's that's the thing, right? What do you mean? I would waste it. Like, if I decide to attach it well, at a later date... Well, here's the thing. If you attach an ad, you'll get money for that. You'll, you'll be in the positive balance. You'll get a money at the end of the round. I know. If you attach a person, you'll get an extra victory point. Because that, that talent show winner there uh, has a one there. Um, right there. So that one will give you an extra one. I'll just put the ad here. Okay. So that'll give you an extra money at the end of the round whenever you're calculating your score, or for your money, for your income and expenses. All right, so now um, that was, I did that, then you did that, and now I'm doing this. Now, because I crossed that pink thing, we now have to draw this and see what happens. So we have to burn. Wait a second. What's that? Wait a second. We started, right? We started here. So I took my action, I went here. Oh. Okay. You took your action, you went here. No, I'm taking my no, action, I go here. Correct. Oh, so, okay, so every time it goes back to you. Right, correct. So basically, every third turn, basically. Okay. Um, so now, the bottom of this says we burn an ad, we burn a pink card, which is not on the table, and we do the drop and budget. So the drop and budget here, yes. and we burn the leftmost ad, which is this. Okay. So I'm just going to do... <laughs> Fine. And that's just going to go... Bottom of the deck, yeah. All right. So there's that. And now I'm going to take my turn. Oh, oh, you're doing that thing again. I don't have fingernails, okay? I hate <laughs> that. You can't. Hold on. I, 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 I will fix second, it. Hold it on. second to last. There. Are you happy now? I don't even know what you did. <laughs> it worked. You, uh, fine. Look, look. No, 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 no. Look, bottom one. There's the money, there's okay. the pink card. I, it's on the very bottom of the deck Can now. Just give it to me. No, here. no, no, wrong. <laughs> that wrong. hurts. I will take my turn now. Okay. Um, I'm going to just move these over. Um, okay, so I don't have an ad, so I can't take any of these shows mm -hmm. because I've already used my ad here um, on this one here. So I could put this into my tableau. This is a 9 p.m. slot, though. I can still place this card if I wanted to, but if I put it on the 8 or the 10 p.m. slot, I would only get five victory points instead of eight. Again, there's a, there's a little number and a large number. If you put the show in its preferred time slot, you get the large number. If you don't, then you get the smaller number. The wacky TSA agent is apparently that show. Um, so what I may do is um, I may just decide to grab... Um, you know, I 
kind of like, I'm going to go ahead and grab this ad. I get an immediate three bucks. The perfect ponchos is an ad. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Um, I get three immediate bucks. I'm going to put this into my green room. So I'm going to take three from the bank. One, two, three. And now you get to go. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm Interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I will grab... I'm going to grab this one. That one? Okay. For so that, immediate $2? Yeah, immediate $2, and that, it's a plus 2 there, so if you were to put that in your tableau at some point, you would get plus 2. So here's your 2 immediate. There and you now go. You, we do another burn card? Yep, now we do another burn card. So this one is a show and a pink card and another drop in budget. So drop in budget and a show, which is this leftmost one here. We're going from left to right. So this season one card goes away, and I'm just going to put this on the very bottom. This is what it looked like, in case you were curious. Um, it goes on the very bottom. There you go. All right, so my turn here. Um, I will... When does season two start? At the end of this round. When is the end of this round? When we both pass. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, um, so, right, yeah, right now we're on season one. When we both pass, we'll move to season two. All right, I will take, huh. My strategy is just like completely screwed up since before we started. I had, a, I had a set strategy and now it's just like. Well, you're fine. Thank okay, you. so I'm going to, um, let's see, Cyber Slug versus Mecha Earthworm. I don't know if I want that one. There's Chain Mail Bikini Warrior over here. Um, I kind of like, man. Man is right. I I think I might actually want this ad here for three bucks. Wow. So I'm just I'm gonna bank that. Um, just a lot of moolah. Yes, yeah, so that's three bucks. One, two, three, and that goes into that. And your turn. I'm gonna just move that over there. Mm -hmm. Or no. So that was me. Now this is you. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't like this mechanic. I really don't. It just makes sense. I go, you go, we burn one. I go, you go, we burn one. I think that would just be easier. Yeah. Rather than having to manage this stupid wheel. So it is my turn now. I yeah. Think. Okay. Um... I can always swap this stuff out, right? What do you mean swap it out? Like, because it has an either or, I can always take an action to take any one of these and put it in here. You could, but, I mean, yeah, you could. But just be warned that you spent that card, that's the card, whenever you swap it, you loot, that, you have to discard that. Yeah, whatever you, have to discard so that like, one. you, you kind of wasted a turn to get something that you never used. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you can, but I, you know, I, I don't know if that would be beneficial for you to do so. Yeah. Unless it's, it, unless it's a really good move on your part. If it's a matter of one buck here and there, I wouldn't worry about it. Mm. It's up to you. You do you, though. Mm. Man. Mm-hmm. Alright, so you're going to pay five bucks to get this guy. Yeah. And the way this star works is there's a little condition down here. Rotate unless this show is a sitcom. So if you attach this card to a sitcom, you're fine. You just put them there next to your show and you'll get four, five, four, one. But if you don't put them on a sitcom, you rotate it to the bad side. You still get some points, but it's not as good as these numbers over here. So. In this case, you'll definitely want to attach this one to a sitcom, if at all possible. Yeah. Alright, so you paid your five bucks to do that. Okay. And you will cost one at the end of every round. Yeah. So just FYI. So now this moves up and yeah. we burn. Yeah. So this is a star, an ad, and a drop in budget. 
<laughs> so six and five, <laughs> passing early is really not going to yield too much of anything there. Um, what, was, and, what was it? A star? Oops, I forgot. Uh, star, yeah, star. So this one goes away. Okay. Top down, left to right. Um, is that it? Just the star? Yeah, just budget? that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was an ad, but all the ads are gone. Yeah. I'm just going to put those to the side, just so we don't mix them up. Can they still see if I move it? Yeah, if, yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Okay. Um, I will... I wish there were actual... I hate when board games don't have actual, like, slots and things. You... That's why I love Dice Forge. They have, like, those little things that just, like, you put yeah. it in there and that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. No, I get it. I get it. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to go with uh, Chainmail Bikini Warrior here. I need a star for that. So I'm going to put my Network VP here. Network VP, obviously a great... I, I don't know how that would work. Would the Network VP be wearing the bikini? I don't know. So we're just going just gonna to put this here. I'm going to spend $1 million to, to purchase that show. Oh, other way around. $1. And I'm going to put this in my 10 o'clock slot. And this gets flipped upside down. So, Litter Training Weekly, no longer a show in my 10 o'clock slot. Oh, I screwed up. And that goes there. And I think, I think you're good to go. I completely screwed it up. Screwed what up? Dang it. You've got a 9 p.m. and an 8 p.m. So you could do a 9 p.m. slot. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Actually. The wacky TSA agent. But so for one million. I, I, I messed up on the, on the time thingies. That's okay. So you've got a star there. Maybe. So you have to put a star yeah. attached to that. But you have two of them. I'm going to put the cheaper one. Okay. And there's a purpose. That's fine. And this one... That is a rerun that just goes in your rerun upside down. Yep. And while you're doing that, I'm going to burn some more cards. Um, just do this. Uh, upside down, just, yeah. Really? Yeah. I just don't like that there. I wish I could just do, no, what like, are you doing? put it inside the thing. No, no, no. No? That no. way the little thing comes out. No, no. Oh, my God. No. Oh, CD people. No. That, that, that way you make more space. No. We have enough space. You're fine. Right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Wrong. I don't understand why you can't just flip it and hide it under You do you. Like I this. Just, I, it, Look at that. Okay, all right. I can see it. But what about the other one? The other one, I'll flip it over too. See? Okay. Fun. Uh, so I'm going to take rid of a show, a star, and a network card. So show goes away. A uh, star goes away, and a network card, which we don't have any network cards out, so this goes under here, and that goes here. So, um, with my turn, I will, I mean, I'm, I'm not even worrying about this wheel anymore, really. <laughs> I see no point. Um, I can either buy a star or just pass and get six million. I think I might buy a star just to have it, but then it's one million I have to pay. Yeah. You know what? Any of these look good. This one says, rotate unless this show is science fiction. So, so if I do get this card, I'm going to have to attach it to science fiction if I want these nicer numbers, otherwise they're going to flip that way. This one says, rotate or not, your choice. So it could either be 1240 or it could be 4000. So I could use him right away, get four points for that round, and then fire him after that. Otherwise, I get zero. Or I can save him up for maybe round three, just keep him on a show for three. If I know that I'm going to keep a show around for that long, that might be a good idea. But you know what? I'm, 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 mm. I will actually purchase that for three million. Mm. So I'm gonna spend three million, put that into this here. Okay. And now you go. Um, this is the so you can either pass or you can I might actually do an attach and replace this one. Okay. With this. Okay. If that's what you want to do? Yeah. Do you have enough money to support everything at the end of your round? It's one, I, it's a minus one, right? Okay, and you are going to get money for passing as yeah. well, so. So, yeah. So this gets discarded. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
So that adds. Mm -hmm. That is your. Oh, okay. This is your starter card. Yeah. Uh, Hakini's jalapeno hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to put that off to the side here. These starter cards can go back in the box. It makes me sad. Uh, well, right. you needed to. Okay, so now uh, we're going to burn stuff. Oh, it happened to be a star, nothing else. Mm. So there's no more cards remaining. So at this point, I will pass and then you will pass. So yeah. since I'm passing first, because it's my turn, yeah. um, I will go here and you go here. So I get six million, you get five million. Yeah. So I'm going to take six and you get five. Mm -hmm. And now we... Do the income and expenses. Okay, so let's see what we owe. I've got a zero balance here, minus one, plus one. This is a minus, so I owe one million to the bank for that show. And then you owe one million as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, victory score and line up and rerun. Okay, so I've got two reruns, plus I've got 11 here for the nine o'clock slot. So that's um, 13, plus I've got 10 for the 10 o'clock slot. So... 10 plus 11 is 21, plus 2 is 23. So I get 23 victory points on this tracker here. And what did you end up getting? 23, I think. 23? 8 plus 8 plus 1 plus 4. Do, oh, did I not? Oh, I, wait, hold on. I forgot to count my, my yeah. star. So it, it would be 11 plus 11. My bad. 10 plus 1 is 11. Mm -hmm. Plus 11, that's 22. I get 24, not 23. Okay. I got 23. 16, okay. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. Okay. So you've got 23. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we have to age our show. So our reruns go into our archives. They no longer earn us victory points. We're going to move these cubes down. Forever? Correct. Mm -hmm. They still count toward the genre, three, three genre bonus thing. Really? But they, yeah, they don't give us victory points anymore. Mm -hmm. So move your cubes down one oh. for each show. That's how much they'll score us come the end of second round, unless we replace them. I see. Um, next up, we set up the next season. So there's no more, if there are any cards here, we would get rid of them, discard them, and that would be that. So here we have to flip this. Use this side for the first season only. Flip over after the first season. So we're going to flip this over. There's the rest of the score track. Mm. Um, we've got drop and budget here. Now the drop and budget's a little different. In addition, we have a choice now. We can either take money or victory points, okay. depending on what slot we fall into when it's all said and done. And we take out four, the four network cards? Uh, yeah, now we're going to draw four network cards as well, okay. in addition, because now it's the second season. So now we're going to draw six shows. This is for seasons two and three. And by the way, when you're setting up the game, there's a number of cards in here that have a um, a, um, a two slash three with a line through it, meaning um, you don't use them in a two or three player game. Mm -hmm. So there's some in the box that we're not using because it's a two player uh, game. So we're going to do uh, six shows. Mm -hmm. The Cubicle, Dexterous, American Samurai Warrior, You Reek, Ugh, <laughs> Criminal Mindfulness. Criminal Minds, I get it. Uh, yes, get it. And cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I just want that one. I just want cringe. We're gonna be fighting over that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. I like the fringe reference. I really did. <laughs> Five stars. So we're gonna go ahead and actually, what was that last? Ads next is four ads. So we're gonna do. That was funny. Plaque blaster toothpaste. Wow. Uh, gun metal chewing gum. Diet sugar cola. And promo. Okay, um, next we'll do the stars, which there are five of them. So we'll do Sultry Sexy Lead, Tabloid Fodder, <laughs> Serial Award Winner, oh. Science Fiction Legend, Late Night Talk Show Host. Looks like Jay Leno there, but I can't tell. He should have had a bowl of cereal if he was the Serial Award I get it. <laughs> Wrong C. That's... Serial, see, yeah, anyway. It would have been funny. It would have been fun. Oh, yeah, and the networks, four networks. Four networks. So I'm going to draw these four, and I'll show them to the camera here so you can see. Some of these have end game conditions. Some of them are used. So this exclamation point means you use them right away. 
The plus one means that you hold on to them, but you can play them. When you play them, it's a one-time thing. This is an end game condition, which gets you victory points for various things. So as we take them, I guess we'll read off what they do. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put them up here. Syndication, writer, big game, advertising, push. Yeah. So those are the four there. Okay. And whoever is in last place gets to go first. So it goes for the next round. We're on season two now. I see. Uh, you're you're first so now. now. It's me, you, burn card, me. You yes, burn card. basically. I see. Mm -hmm. So I think we are ready to start the second season, okay. second round. Oh man. Mm hmm. What the heck am I gonna do? First off, let me fix this because this is annoying. Uh huh. They don't like this. Okay. Um. <laughs> hmm. This is tough. tough. This is tough. I'm gonna have to replace something, huh? Well, when you replace it, you replace all the ads and all the the actors on that. Unless you've got a a pink card that lets you break the rules in some way. What is now? Now I'm curious. Okay, I got this one. What is this? At the end of the game, score two viewers plus one viewer for every one million you receive from ads on active shows. Mm-hmm. Oh, at the end of the game, any ads you have, you get you get victory points for, for every million that you get from those ads. Mm -hmm. So you want to have a lot of ads on your cards yeah. at the end of the game, basically. Play, if, if you have that. Play when developing a show, ignore one prerequisite star ad or develop the show for no money. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. So ignore prerequisite or develop for no money. For free. Mm -hmm. That one is a... Okay, so... Play this card during rerun scoring. Each of your reruns this season scores four additional viewers. Wow. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, man. And those are free to take up there. Yeah. What was this one? That is, you get four, it's every rerun plus four victory points. So if you have two reruns, it'll be your rerun plus four. Yeah. For each rerun that you have. So that's you'll get more points with your reruns with that. I might I might actually take this. Okay, one. cool. <laughs> you good? Uh yeah. Alright. I will I will take this one here. Now this has a purple star and an optional ad, so I can I can add an ad if I want to. I don't have to. Um, so this is an 8 p.m. slot, which I need to add here. Um, I need to pay three million to field that. So I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to get rid of cooking for your gerbil. Mm -hmm. No more, sorry, gerbil. Uh, you're not going to eat anymore, apparently. We're going to do that. This goes on the first one there. Um, and I have to attach a star at the very least. I've got, it's a science fiction show, and I've got this cult sci-fi actor. I, I have to rotate it unless I attach him to a sci-fi show. This is a sci-fi show, so I'm okay. I can leave it on the good side here. Now, if I want to, I can attach an ad. Um, I don't think I'm going to, though, at least not right now. So, that is my turn. Now we have to burn something. Mm -hmm or things. Okay, this says to burn an ad. So there's no other things to burn. So we're going to take this leftmost ad and just just burn that. I think you're ruining some of your cards. I just, I need, I need a felt table or I need to stop biting my fingernails, one of the two. <laughs> I think a table would okay. be better. Um, wow, so I would need three, oh no, wow, these are getting expensive. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Definitely expensive.
Each of those stars costs five, except for that late night show, or late night talk show host, which is three. Yeah. He's the cheapest one out of all of them. But he doesn't give as many points either. Oh, there you go. If you use that card, you can grab something for free, yeah. All right, I will go. Um, I think I will take... Um, Hmm, am I going to replace anything this round? That's the question. That's the hard part, because... I know, like, you have to really look at... I really don't want to replace anything, because... At the same time, though... Hmm. That's going to give me 12 points. I don't... That's the best... This is the best season, yeah. so if I replace that now... I lose that. I'm, I'm missing out on that card. 11, 7, 4, 1. 7 isn't bad, so maybe I might want to replace the 9 p.m. time slot. But to do that, I need to get possibly some actors. Because this needs an actor, that needs an actor, that needs an actor, that needs... So I'm, I'm just going to maybe buy an actor. Um, I'm going to go with the tabloid fodder here. It's $5 to buy her. Um, so 5 goes away, and I'm going to put her here. Hmm. All right, and now we burn something. Uh, burn a show, burn a star, and the uh, burn a star. And drop a budget. Yeah, and the budget. Yeah, and the budget right here. Okay. Now it's my turn. Yep. Okay, I'm going to. Mm. Wow, this is tough. Mm -hmm. This is actually really like stressing me out now. <laughs> it's stressing you out. <laughs> it is totally stressing me out. Um, that's, that's just too much. You know what? I'm going to pay five bucks or five million. Okay. To build that one. Dextrous? Yes. And I'm going to play this to ignore one prerequisite. Well, actually, no. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Ignore one prerequisite star. Yeah, so yeah, it needs a star. You don't have one in your tableau. No, but I can put the... You can add... Yeah, there's an optional add that you can put next to it. Yeah, so you so can... This will go with my rerun. Correct. Upside down rerun. There you go. And that goes there. Did you get to... Pay, you paid the five dollar. You paid the five. Not yet. Okay. So this goes in the discard. Well, I'll just put it on the bottom of the deck. It's fine. And here's the. Okay. okay. Awesome. And. And this is the first season. Uh yeah, it goes. Yeah, the cube goes on. Yep. Okay. Yep. At least stay on the second. Like Correct. Part. Yeah. That whenever you put a show on here for the first time, it starts on the beginning mm -hmm. of the track. Um, I think I'm going to. Um, wow. I'm going to take this one, mm -hmm. which is an end game scoring. At the end of the game, score two viewers plus one viewer for every one million you receive from ads on active shows. So I'm going to play the long game now and just take that. Nice. And now we burn something. Uh, flexible schedule. Okay, it's only this here. Alright. And you go. Oh man. I am not too good too good with money. Oh you're fine. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> you're gonna grab that one? Okay. Now that's immediate. It's either oh, three victory it? three victory points now, or you pay five million to get ten. So you have to discard that like right now. Okay, hold on, let me think now. Okay, so I can either get through three viewers for free or two viewers and six million. No. Well, I can either drop or take this. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you, you mean drop. I see what yeah. you're saying. So you have, yeah, yeah, it's either three viewers or... Yeah, or I can... Or you can either take that card or you can drop. Yeah, yeah, so this is three viewers versus two viewers and six million bucks. That's an or. 
You do not get both. You, oh, you, really? you have to choose six million or two victory or two victory oh, points, two viewers. Dang. That's an that's an or. Yeah, it is. That is a nasty or. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you know what? Did you replace one? No. The first one? No. All right, yeah, this round, yeah. I just got that this round. The very beginning. Wait a second. You just got that first one? No. I did that at the beginning of this round. I've, I've had that for a while. Beginning of this round. Okay. That was the first thing I took. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so, so 19 plus 625. What are you looking at? Okay, so you would get 30. <laughs> I'm calculating. You're calculating victory points over there. Okay. Not competitive. I'm going to grab the three. Alright, so you just, so three victory points. <laughs> One, two, three. You're up to 26. I got to stay. Now you have the option to spend five million to get 10, but you don't have five million. <laughs> you have one. You have one million dollar. Um, and I will grab, um, well, here's the thing. Do I want, I could take the six million or I can grab one of those for two. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to grab an ad. Mm -hmm. Uh, doesn't matter which one. Well, this is two million immediately. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Nice. Oh, I forgot about those ads. I keep forgetting that they give you money. I could have probably stocked up an ads and then probably put it in the network. That's card. all right. You might get more. Uh, all right, so star, pink card, and drop in budget. So there's that, and a star. Stars. Yeah, I, I agree, dog. It, wholeheartedly, right there. Mm. Do we, okay. Frankenstein. So after this season is over. What's that now? After this season is over, do we get any money at all? No. Wow. Well, income and expenses. Depends on what you get here. You get money for this and money for this. Yeah. Okay. It's your turn. Yeah. Now you've got these ad cards that you can take if you need money. I guess it wouldn't really matter. I thought you wanted cringe. Well, <laughs> I, 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 know, I did, I did, but then I saw this and I was like, ooh, that might be a little expensive. Yeah. I can't afford those ad cards at all. No, they're free. Oh, these? No, yeah. They're, they're free. You no, get... because it says I have to rotate if I don't have any. No, no, no. Well, no, that. You get the immediate bonus, mm -hmm. but when you assign it to something, that's when you flip it. Oh. So if you were to take this, you'd put it here, get your two million. When you assign it to a show, that's when you'd look to see if you would flip it or not. Rotate unless you have ads left in your green room. I see. So that's that one. So this show would be, you'd get, if you didn't have any shows in your green room, that would be like a zero million. Yeah, it, that see. would be terrible. But you get the immediate bonus no matter what. If you if you flip it or not, you still get the immediate bonus. What you get I'll, with I'll the show, you're gonna grab it for yeah, two million. I'll grab it for two okay. million. There's that. There's your two. I will go ahead and take. Um, whether I take. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop out now. Mm. And I'll take the mm -hmm. four million mm -hmm. from the bank. I'm gonna take a five one and now we burn a star and and pink card man I, I thought that would happen I wasn't sure I was hoping it wouldn't happen uh, and pink card is none okay so now it is your turn uh, now the way this works is now that I'm here and you're here and you're still you would you would move twice like this. That's what this black cube does. It's okay. supposed to move here, and then you do one. And then I wouldn't be able to keep going. You can keep going, but now after two turns, you have to burn another card. So you go once, you go again, and then you burn oh, a card. Oh, I see. I see. You go, you go, burn. You go, you go, burn. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Yu -Oh. I see. I see. Um, man, this is getting expensive. I need money. <laughs> <laughs> That stinks. These cards are costing me. 
Well, it's either you bring in a show. Yeah. I mean, unless you need that actor. If you hire the actor, he'll be one million at the end of the year in your green room. Now, here's a question. Because I played that card and did this, can I actually, in the future, take an action and put a celebrity in Yes, you can. There? Mm -hmm. mm. Remember, you need money for the end, so make sure you've got enough yeah. to support all of that. Oh, yeah. You you will get two million. You're guaranteed two million from that drop in budget slot. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Stupid ads. Um. She said ads for the record, folks. Yeah, ads. ads. <laughs> Stupid ads. Muffled. It sounded like something I'm else. Sorry. <laughs> I, I really didn't. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, this is so urgent. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to... Oh my gosh. Now we're on, we're going to be on season three, so these are going to... Well, it's season, yeah, those are going to go away, and more cards from the season two, three deck will come out. Oh my gosh, this is hard. You know what? Oh man. I have a feeling that the season three ones are going to be nasty. It's the same nice. deck. So it oh, is it? it's the same deck. Mm -hmm. So same same balance purposes as far as the cards that you've seen already. I see. I see. Um. The question is whether or not you want to bank anything. I know. And then now that card that you took, what? Oh, it's on. That's the, just the rerun. What? Which one are you talking the about? The black cube on the top there is that on the third slot or the second slot? It should be on the second one. The, no, no, the one above it, the top one. The top, yeah, that one. It should be on the second slot. Sorry. There, yeah. Because you're not, yeah, there's no way you're in the third season already. Oh my bad. What is this cube? That is for, in case you need to calculate your score while you're adding oh, stuff up. The track there's a track here for, like, a, it's like a mini calculator to help you figure out what your point should be here. Okay. Um, see, here's the thing. I'm, I'm trying to decide whether to buy the celebrity or that show. I like that you can run two ads on it. Well, this one you need a celebrity, this one you need a celebrity, this one you need a celebrity and an ad. Yeah. Or stars, they're called. Star and an ad, star, two, and these are optional, two yeah. ads. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. For two million, that's what, that, no, do you have enough money for the end of the round here to pay for oh, everything? that's right. Yeah, it cancels out. Everything cancels out. What about any select? Okay, so okay, yeah, you've got two million in ads there. Okay, all right. As long as you're confident, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna pay two two million, million for this for that. No, this is three million here. So while it can't, yeah. oh, no, no. When you buy a show, it has to replace but something. It has. Oh, really? Yes. When you buy a show, it has to replace something. Oh, so do you want to take that back? Yeah, I might have to. Because I don't want to give up these. I need these victory points. That's All right. so bad. So it was three? Yeah. Two. Yeah. It was three. It was two million. Was it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I meant like it was three there it, in total. No. Three, three million was the maintenance cost for the oh. end of the uh, season. Um, okay. So I'm thinking, should I spend these three for the celebrity so I can at least... If you, if you spend money on the celebrity, keep in mind his maintenance is one. So yes. you would... You would have oh you would owe one buck at the end of your season. Yeah, but but I you get two. My, I would put him in my green room. It doesn't matter. He still owes. He, uh, oh, even in even he, people in green room. Yes, you oh. have to you have to pay for them while they're in their, your green room. Yes. Okay, I'll just drop out. <laughs> okay, I'm just letting you. <laughs> I did not know that. I thought they were just chilling. Until no. I thought they worked on commission. <laughs> n no contract. Nice Contracts. try. What actor do you know that works on commission? <laughs> Tell that to the Star Trek people, the, the old William Shatner and all them. Ask them if they get commission, Some okay? Work Just, on, as commissions. That's Some a very extras. sore subject for the Star Trek cast. Two million for you, right? Yes. Okay. That was rough. Um. So now we go down. So along. wait, does that mean that we get no, additional? No, no, we didn't know. That's only on active shows. <laughs> okay. Nice try, though. Um, otherwise, I would have gotten four million for mine. Yeah. Uh, income and expenses. So I owe three million. This is one million. Three. That's four, five, six, and then um, minus the one is five. So I owe five million to the bank. 
So there's there's my five. And then you owed what now? Nothing. I, I break even. You I break have, even. I have one, one, but I have two here. Okay, cool. Um, next up is the score lineups and reruns. Um, I had, I have 12 points plus one here, it's 13. 13 plus seven is 21. 21 plus 10 is 31. 32 for the rerun here. So I got 32. So 32 plus 24 is, 32 plus 24 is uh, 56. You could use your calculator. I could. <laughs> I had oh, 27, hold on, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27. <laughs> 27 <laughs> plus 26 is uh, 55, right? 53. 53, yeah. <laughs> I can math. Um, okay, so... So you're not far behind. You had a lot of points there. You did very good. My, my, this one was like my, my victory point maker. Yeah, I, I had one or two myself. Um, aid show, so the reruns go down into your archives. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. right. Just, I, I'm going to flip them back over so I can see what, what genres I currently have. On the top left, there's little symbols. The yeah. gray one doesn't get you anything. I'm, I'm doing... Okay. To save yourself space, do, if you want to do what I did, just... Uh oh. Yeah. Flip them upside. There you go. And then look on the top left. Just stagger them. There you go. Well, if the gray one doesn't give you... Anything. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, so we aged our shows. We're going to bring the cubes down one. I still like my idea with tucking it under to I know space. You do. I know you do. See, look at that. It's just so much neater. All right. Did you age your shows? <laughs> I did. I did. All right. So these go away. We're on season three. Um, because we're an hour in, we're going to put a cut here. And we'll pick this up at the end just to sort of give you our uh, first impression. So stay tuned, folks. And we are back. So we just finished our game. We tallied our total scores. Um, I ended up with uh, 228, and she ended up with uh, 206. So it was a very close game through and through. Um, that last round, or last couple of rounds, I managed to grab Monday Night Foosball, mm -hmm. which had 12, 14, 13. Um, so that helped me out. I also ended the game with two of these end game conditions, which definitely helped me out. The... Uh, at the end of the game, score two viewers plus one viewer for every one million you receive. So that was 10 million in ads that I had. Mm -hmm. And so that was 10 victory points plus the two there. This one was just six victory points for the three green that I had. And she nabbed the same thing. She had six victory points bonus for that. Um, as far as the shows that we had just for fun, I had Tiny Pop Hypothesis, uh, Monday Night Foosball, and the Baccalaureate. I guess. And you had... Um, the Wacky TSA. No, that's all archives. Uh, what, what were your active ones? North Lawn. Uh-huh. North Lawn. Found and Dr. What. Dr. What. Found and instead of lost, I guess. And North Lawn. North Lawn. Where's and, North Lawn from? Uh, uh, crap. North Lawn. So, uh, uh, it's a... Uh, I would know. All right. North Lawn. I, that's a good question. I, North it, Lion? Northern no, Island. it's it's gotta be what's what's the cover? South Park maybe? Is it? Yeah, Park Lawn, <laughs> South Park. <laughs> the antonyms. Yeah, is that Kenny? That's is that funny. is that supposed to be Kenny? It's supposed to be Kenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Park, that's Park, exactly Park. what that is. North Lawn. That's funny. I didn't. Yeah, know that and as far as the ones that we retired, the our archive rather, I had Agents of Shampoo. You Reek, Chainmail, Bikini Warrior, Awesome Industrial Accidents, Cooking for Your Gerbil, Name That Stain, and Litter Weekly Training. You had... The Wacky TSA Agent, Old Folks Complaining, Dexterous, Unlocking Your Cat's... Uh, Psychic Abilities. Breath Mints Around the Globe. Breath Mints Around the Globe. What? Awesome. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> show. So that was really close. What did you think? It was okay. It was frustrating sometimes because it's like... Every time I thought I had a plan, I didn't have any money for it. <laughs> so I have to manage my ads better. Nah, it was tough. Like, around seasons three and four, I was constantly out of money. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until season five where I got rid of the expensive shows mm. and started throwing ads on all of them. So, like, I, I, I was getting a lot of money toward the end, but unfortunately, I didn't have enough 
to get both this and the star. Uh, yeah. The limping, treated, and released, which is obviously The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. um, this is one that I wanted but couldn't get to fill this 10 p.m. slot here. I thought I was gonna get it, and then I purchased this guy. Which is? Which was three, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't afford the show now. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I, I wanted it because this was, this was crap. <laughs> like, this was just, yeah, this the one, at the end of the game, folks, you score this twice, like, you score normally for season five, then at the end of the game, uh, once you age everything, you score again. Mm -hmm. So, um, that may end up with you getting some crappy points for the last round. I so I tried like heck to get newer shows around the fourth or fifth season so that wouldn't happen, but I still end I didn't want to get rid of her or this this show because I had three million on it, which tied with my bonus card. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to remove these ads. That's three bon that's three victory points I'd be throwing away. I had a huge brain fart moment that really messed me up. Um it was in the beginning when I I refused to swap out my shows because um, it says if you reached five like genres, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get five shows, and I thought it meant like active shows, but then it wasn't mm. until the second season. I'm like, wait a second, we can only have three active shows. What is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to keep in in the back of your mind as you're playing this. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I really like the time slot mechanic because like some some seasons. There's only one card out here that may be interest to you because um, of the time slot it prefers. I mean, yeah, you could get a card for a time slot that you don't need or it doesn't go with, but at the same time, like, I'm one of those people that has to maximize everything. Yeah. I, I did not, this entire game, get a card that did not fit the required time slot. Yeah, you know what same I mean? here. It was just OCD. <laughs> yeah, like, this, is, this, is, this was the only 10 p.m. show. That you would have. Well, this is, this is the only 10 p.m. show this entire round. Yeah. So this was the only one I was interested in, but I couldn't afford it. Otherwise, I would have possibly replaced that. Mm. But I don't know. It, it was a tough call either way. But, I mean, I love the, I love the time slot mechanic. Um, I just, I, I like this game in general. It's, it's, it's a little, there's a little bit of a learning curve with this, I will say that. Yeah. Um, it set up, took me a little bit of time. Um, we actually watched a couple of videos prior just so that we would have a heads up on how to set everything up. Uh, so this is definitely harder to set up in terms of like, okay, this is what this is what you have to do to set this up. This is why um, if you're playing with this many players, you need this these boards. Um, these rules come into play with two players or three players. There's a solo game. So there's a lot of different rules in this. So if you are looking to pick this up, definitely watch some videos first to see if it's a game that you're interested. Well, you're watching this video, so it's a step in the right direction. But, um, yeah, I'm just saying, like, there's a learning curve with this, so definitely, um, definitely do your homework first before picking this up. It's a fun game, and it's got that engine build feel, but it's weirder than a lot of the other games I've played, because it's an engine builder, but not. It's an engine builder because you're creating an engine here, but you're also giving up and cycling out cards. So it's like, what you're, the engine that you're building, you're going to lose some of it along the way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sort of like Steampunk Rally, kind of, sort of, in that mm -hmm. sense. But still, I really enjoyed this one. That's and okay. And you, you, would you play it again? I would play it again. I would. You would? With a definitely different strategy. What didn't you like about this? I hate that everything's all over the place. I, I need, you want like, card, card slots. holders. You yeah. want, yeah, you want, you want <laughs> player boards with dedicated card slots. Yes. Yes. Like little envelopes that attach maybe? I don't know. Absolutely. I hate the burn effect. That that gets my heart racing. For the two player game. <laughs> it had to be it had to be done, I guess. I know for balance. For balances. Balance. Otherwise, you'd have all these cards available for two players. I totally agree. Everyone would get what they wanted. Yeah. For the most part, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's too much choice. I guess the alternative would have been to um, only deal maybe 3 or 4. I think I would shows. Have done better. I don't like the tease. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's it's more random this way because you never know what's going to get burned. Yeah. It's not like the same thing is burned every single time. Mm -hmm. It could be three cards. It could be one. You don't know. I like that randomness, though, because mm -hmm. it, it makes you think it, it adds more strategy because this is the show that you want for sure. But you don't know if you should grab it now or grab that victory point bonus that you want to first before grabbing this but you're going okay well is this going to get burned by the time my turn comes around again yeah. is the next card here going to burn it because it's the leftmost card so there's there's that do i risk do i risk waiting to grab it now um if i grab it now will my opponent grab that other card on my balling kind of thing mm -hmm. 
I like that. I mean, it's definitely it definitely adds more of a strategy element to it, more randomness. Yeah. I'm not a fan of randomness randomness myself, but I do find it appealing. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Yeah. Because there's strategy with it too. Yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, there is a lot of things to think about. There is. It's a mess. Oh, and this requires a, a good bit of table space. Yes. So make sure that you reserve some table space. I mean, this is a, I think a, it's, it's above three feet by three feet barely. So um, if, if you've got a three foot by three foot table, you should be okay. But just keep in mind, this is a two player setup, mind you. So in a four player setup, you may need a little bit more table space. But other than that, um, man, it's brilliant. I like it. So there you go, folks. That was the networks. Uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bidi bidi bidi. That's all, folks. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> that is the worst Porky Pig okay. I've ever heard. <laughs> That's all, folks. Good job. That's brilliant. That's a blooper right there. <laughs> or Bugs Bunny. Yeah, ain't I a stinker? Yeah. Or. Did you say that's all, folks, too? Um, no. Yeah. No, I don't think so. No, that's 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 a Porky Pig thing. Yeah. You think He's, that's bad? He said. <laughs> <laughs> you say that's not Peter Griffin. That's totally that's, Peter Griffin. That's, that's Bugs Bunny right there. <laughs> you think that's bad. You think that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. I. <laughs> I. <laughs>